Twitter's going, but again, I'm filtered. Checking out Rivers of Nihil, the suborbital blues. What the fuck is Nihil? I have I have no idea. Cause I'm pretty sure it's not a location. It might be. I think it might be a Star Wars thing. I watched a lot of Star Wars. I think it might be a Star Wars thing. I can't guarantee it, but I think I've heard it in that universe somewhere. Yeah, I'm a nerd. Leave me alone. Fuck off. <laughs> but let's check this out. This comes from Steven, a patron. Appreciate you, homie. If you guys have a request, hit me up. Sub. Oh, I have heard one song from the Secret, the Secret Life. Yeah, that was a normal, good metal song. It was. Until about halfway through, a fucking saxophonist came in and ripped. And I mean, absolutely fucking ripped. And like the song led right into a moment. You know the moments where you can feel a guitar solo is clearly coming? You can feel it. It's like right around the bridge. Instead of a guitar solo... Some saxophonist out of fucking nowhere just rips a solo. And then kind of kept going throughout the song as the song continued. It was actually really fucking good. Usually I hate horns. Any horn instrument is usually like a auto-tuned fart when it hits my eardrum. It's, it's not good. But his was awesome. Let's do this. I hope a saxophone is in this. Oh. Already it's different. New layer. They didn't have any clean vocals in the in the secret life. None. awesome. I like how it's clearly intentional. They have the queen set up, you know, the Bohemian Rhapsody, the four heads, the four, like as they sing together. They're just standing there just like Queen singing to different parts together. Awesome. Nice shout out. I don't care what it says. That was for Queen. I don't care. This is an entirely different sounding band than The Secret Life. Like a whole different layer. All four of them could sing. In The Secret Life, I think it was just the bald guy was the main the main singer. Here, it's this guy and everyone else is singing around him. Very impressive. The only thing that's missing is I'm still curious if a saxophone is normal in their music or was it just for that one song? Because it was very cool.
God damn. That was very unexpected. That is not at all what I thought was going to happen. At all. That's like two entirely different bands. They had legitimately three guys singing most of this song together. A good bit of it. And the bald guy looks just like Eric Rowan, by the way. <laughs> so I'm not sure. It's been a while since I've seen the video for uh, The Secret Life. Was he not? Is he not in the band at this point in time? The, the lead singer of Secret Life. Or is that the bald guy? Just looks different? But I don't think it is. He wasn't playing an instrument in the other one. Or is the lead singer here the main guy? Is that the same guy just with grown out hair? Because the thing is, I don't know how much time difference this is. Holy shit. All I know is this is awesome. This is crazy. Like, this has absolutely raised their potential drastically that they can do this. Because now it's not just a normal death metal band. Now it's like they can do death metal. They can even toss in a saxophonist out of nowhere. They can also do this almost... It's still metal, obviously, but choir-esque sound to their choruses? And have multiple guys legitimately singing at the same time? Interesting. Interesting. I liked it. Hit like, subscribe. Let's fucking go. Crazy. I don't care what anyone says. There, there was a lot of Queen influence in the video. Like the way they were standing. And then the only the heads multiple times. That's Bohemian Rhapsody, damn it. I don't care. Hit like, subscribe. If you are still here. You are. A real one. Oh, I gotta listen to another song because this, this chorus is like stuck in my head right now. <laughs>